Hello and welcome to Mr. Manley History Teacher's latest video on how to successfully answer the how does interpretation B differ from interpretation A about style question. So let's get started. Now this question is in the Germany from 1890 to 1945 paper and there are three interpretation style questions that you'll need to answer in this paper. We're going to be focusing on the first one today. Uh, you may think about this in terms of breaking it down into two four mark questions and an eight mark questions. So in total, they add up to 16 marks. You want to be looking to spend about 20 minutes on these first three questions, a maximum of 25 minutes, but approximately 20 or so minutes on these three questions. And we're going to be focusing, like I said, on question one today. So. What do you need to do to achieve four marks out of four for this type of question? So my top tips are as follows. For this type of question, only focus on what is in the content of the interpretations. You should not, and I repeat, not reference the provenance. So any information about where the sources come from, who made the sources, when they were made, you shouldn't reference that in your answer. So no reference to the provenance of the interpretations in your answer. You only want to be spending about five minutes maximum answering this type of question. So you shouldn't be spending any longer on this type of question with your answer. And make sure you write about both the interpretations. Don't just write about interpretation A or interpretation B. Make sure you write about both the interpretations that you're given in your sources or interpretations booklet. So let's have a look at a model answer. So here we have two interpretations about Hitler's appeal to the German people. And the question is as follows. How does interpretation A differ from interpretation B about Hitler's appeal to the people of Germany? Explain your answer using interpretations A and B. It doesn't say using your own contextual knowledge. It doesn't even say using the provenance of interpretations A and B. Just using interpretations A and B. So here's our model answer. On the one hand, interpretation A focuses, and that's a useful word to use for this type of question, focusing or emphasizes on Hitler's ability to persuade the German population to support the Nazis through his charismatic speeches. So we've picked out what the main message or what the main point is from this interpretation. And it's useful as well for this type of question just to pick out a quote or a sentence to back up the main message or the main point from each interpretation. So the quote we've used to back up Hitler's ability to persuade the German population for his charismatic speeches is Hitler was a hypnotic and persuasive speaker. So that's interpretation A covered. As I said in my top tips on the last slide, you also need to cover the other interpretation as well. So here we've got, on the other hand, interpretation B emphasises, and again, that's a useful word to use. In fact, it's so useful, I'll put it in a different colour, emphasises the Great Depression. We'll use a different colour blue. There we go. The Great Depression and Hitler's ability to, to appeal to unemployed Germans as being the most significant reason for Hitler's rise to power. So we've picked out what the main message is, what the main point of argument is in this interpretation. And then, like I said, we've backed it up with another quote from the interpretation. This is shown in the interpretation with the phrase, or we could say the quote, Hitler owes his rise and victory, or ultimate victory, to the world economic crisis. So we've shown the marker that we understand what the main message is by picking out a phrase that relates to that main message in the interpretation. And that's it. You don't want to be spending any longer than five minutes writing your answer to this type of question. So just before we finish, a quick recap on the main tips for this type of question. Only focus on the content of the interpretations. What's the main argument in the content of the interpretations? You don't need to reference the provenance. I put it in red because you shouldn't do this. Don't reference the provenance of either the interpretations in your answer. So you don't need to reference about or write about where the interpretations come from, who made them, the date they were made. Don't do that for this type of question. Only spend a maximum of five minutes answering this question. 
And finally, make sure you write about both the interpretations. Thanks so much for watching. If you like the video, click on the like button and give my page, Mr. Manly History Teacher, a subscribe.